Take it up, big fella. Pops a rim. Right side with a crushing dunk. Nice feed to go back. Oh, go there with the left hand. Tyler Johnson. Oh, he got right side for the dunk. I don't know better way to start the show than we'll enter the dragon. Look at that. He's got the hoodie on. He's ready to go. He is always ready. And boys, he's been ready the last couple of games. John will highlight that. Meanwhile, that's Jim Johnson. He's, he's got the look, too, down. Good. His future is bright with those shades on. Derek Williams, <laughs> meanwhile, always ready to do whatever he's asked for tonight. Look at this. One of the best players in the NBA. And then there's Hassan Whiteside, too. Wayne Ellington. He was just on fire last night. The second stop on Miami's three-game road trip is also the first game of December, and it has the Heat in Salt Lake City, Utah, seeking a third straight road win following last night's victory in Mile High, Denver. Meanwhile, the Jazz have won four in a row, and they beat the Heat in Miami in mid-November. We hope you enjoy every bounce and basket of tonight's game. Right along with us, Miami Heat basketball on Fox Sports Sun, proudly presented by AT&T. And welcome inside the Vivint Smart Home Arena on a chilly Thursday in Salt Lake. We say good evening to Heat Nation, and thank you, as always. The Miami Heat, Hassan Whiteside, the Utah Jazz, Rudy Gobert. This NBA contest took place in the city of Salt and featured Gordon Hayward finishing in style. Whiteside working the glass with his link. Second quarter. Wayne Ellington coming off the pick. He had 17. James Johnson, strong finish, reverse style. Miami led by four going into the second half. In the third, Hassan, right side. Strong finish on the offensive glass. R Rudy. Gobert from Hayward. Hard. While this was a great game, the final minutes were really, really entertaining stuff. Yeah, really strong play here by the Jazz getting out onto the break. Look at this two-on-one situation. You could hear the crowd get excited as they made their charge back. But look at James Johnson. Big-time athletic play. Might have shuffled the foot a little bit, but we, we don't yeah, care about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, just a little shuffle. And this guy, he, is, he was a huge shot maker, Gordon Hayward, over and over again with a season high, and then the Dragon gets inside, quarters are a little tight, um, Whiteside not able to pull it in. Here's the final play. This was a good look, wasn't it, John? It was a good look, a well-executed play. And thank goodness that clock ran out because oh, Gobert was right there for the lay-in. Uh, but what an effort. You can see the exhaustion and the excitement on the faces of these guys. What a tremendous job pulling out the victory. You see tonight's game summary brought to you by Papa John's. And John, as we look at the stats and you break those down, I think, too, the sigh of relief, too, for the team when you saw that excitement. Now, okay, you got to win. That's exciting. But they've lost so many of these where they can't finish late. And tonight, they did. The game brought to you by Miller Lite. James Johnson's defense on the game's final play came around the screen, caught up with Hayward, made a double clutch, changed the shot. They Heat win it on that great defensive stand from James Johnson, who finished with a season high 24 points, just his eighth career game of 20 points or better. He was remarkable on both ends of the floor in his 25 minutes tonight. He made 11 of his 15 shots and our Miller time moment of the game. Now the Heat scored 60 points on the paint against Utah in Miami. I think they had 64 more points in the paint, even though it's not. Presented by Cleveland Clinic, Florida. How about James Johnson? He did it all, including the nice little pass there to Hassan Whiteside who threw it down. Hassan, not the biggest offensive night. Nine points, but he had 10 rebounds. And this to say, after the win. Never stop, never settle moment of the day. And it was the moment that he took over in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I mean, he needed, somebody needed to step up, and, and Dragic was there. I mean, he just constantly looked for his offense, uh, and it was beyond the arc. Uh, 14 points overall, two for two, five of eight overall. I mean, he just made play after play. Look at him just getting to the comfort level there. They go under the screen. All right, I'll take what you give me. Here he attacks the basket. Look at this move, step through between two defenders. Um, he's relentless in his attack with the left-hand dribble. A little 
hanger, floater there, just inside out, long range, every, everything showed you the full repertoire right there in that fourth quarter. And the aggression that he's shown since coming back from that elbow injury, it's funny because he, he, he comes back from an elbow injury and you think maybe he'll be tentative, maybe his shot will be off. Obviously your elbow is pretty important in a shot opposite. follow through. I mean, look at these numbers, Josh. Yeah, complete opposite. I mean, he's been great. This is two straight nights it's now with 50 plus points. Yeah. I mean, Wayne Ellington has been such a welcome addition. This is his third game back and in the first half he was tremendous knocking down shot after shot coming down off the down screens creating space always on balance. Look at him here off the high pick and roll. Um, he just steps right into a, a triple um, winds up uh, knocking down 17 points and winds up three of five beyond the arc and again just being able to spread the floor out and be reliable beyond the arc there is huge for this team. Speaking of reliable that's what James Johnson has become off the bench this season for Miami John. That's a big time move look at that little shoulder shrug baseline turnaround jumper facing up the defense again beating him off the dribble look at him getting into the open area here he has been knocking down three balls with uh, amazing accuracy two of four tonight uh, from three land look at this put back here uh, rebound on the ball huge game season high 24 points for him and an incredibly efficient 11 of 15 from the field yeah Johnson has been doing it all and John we talked about it plenty on these shows even in losses he does the little things and sometimes like tonight he does the big things too that move right there was ridiculous might have you know shuffled his foot a little bit but at that juncture they needed someone to make a play James Johnson was fearless uh, took it upon himself, right to left crossover, got into the gap, and he just had a speed advantage on Ingles, who was guarding him a lot. It is the Fort J zone. A lot of stuff on your resume tonight, but that last play probably was the most critical. What were you eyeballing with Gordon there? Oh, uh, you know, I, I knew he likes to pump fake when he snakes or curls around. I knew there was only three seconds left. I had great help from my teammates. They was in the nail, they was on the elbows, and all I had to do was jump late. Now, there are a few games that have 221 points in it that feel like it's a slug out, but that's what this felt like. What was happening out here? Uh, it was a road game, you know, and uh, we, we expected it. We knew they weren't going to leave when we was up by 10. Uh, this is just all, all a part of uh, building a great team, uh, great mental stability. You are playing some of your best offensive basketball in your career. What is it about this system that suits you? Uh, everything, the championship organization, how they carry us, how they, we have to carry ourselves. Um, you know, I finally got a shot, and I'm working hard to keep it. Now, if my count is correct, you've had about 75, 80 tickets the last two games. Right. Who's running around these Rocky Mountains with you right now? My mom actually drove up from Denver. She had some uh, Samoa relatives, man. How y'all doing? <laughs> well, you know, it's good. I love when my mom gets to come to games. Uh, I'm blessed to have it. Always nice to show up and show out, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Congratulations. Double J on his way out of the building with joy for himself, his team, and mama. Now, what's better than that? 110 for the Jazz. 111 for your Miami Heat. One more is all you need. Stay right there. We're coming back right here on Fox Sports Sun. Heat victorious on the road. Again, you can tune in tonight at 1 a.m. Let me tell you, if you're up, you may want to stick around and watch that. Or if not, tomorrow at noon, you can watch it. All tonight's action presented by your South Florida Honda dealers in those replays. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports Sun, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For my partner, John Crotty, the one and only Jason Jackson, the great duo of Eric Reed, and the coach, Tony Fiorentino. I'm Will Manso saying thanks for watching the Heat. 2-0 to start the trip. We leave you now with the final take. Champion. We celebrate like a championship. We celebrate like a champion. We celebrate like a championship. We celebrate like a champion. We celebrate like a championship. We celebrate like a champion. We celebrate like a championship. Uh huh. Here we go. Celebrate like you on the road. Celebrate like the money come. Celebrate like you coming home. Celebrate like a champion. We celebrate like a championship. We celebrate like a champion. We celebrate like a championship. Thoughts of failure leave me more than shook. Desperation, yeah, I know the look. Searching my soul within every nook. Talking faith, I could have wrote the book. In the kitchen like I know the cook. I swear, but this is where arrogance is. Aware I'm a waste. 
feel this nigga, I'm getting too pale like I'm wearing a wig. Think of y'all, I'm getting fighting for. Champion, I like the final.